The trap that killed the captain was set by Sergeant Masashi of the Imperial Japanese Army. I also found these diaries. Do you read Japanese? Of course. He was the last of his court to survive. And I never learned that the war ended. I haven't had time to read all the diaries, but... Enough to know that before they died, the soldiers booby trapped the island to prevent it being taken by the Allies. Uh, we can't fix the traps, but it obviously explains why the natives keep clear of the place. We? I can't see you fixing anything. I suggest you leave it to Jack and Andrew. And what about you? I thought all politicians got their hands dirty. Great. So we've got an ocean that's too dangerous to cross and an island that's too bloody dangerous to live on. Yeah, sure.
be fine. Sounds like it's losing strength. Go off, we should be okay by tomorrow. Hope we're still here to see it. Ah, oh, nothing to worry about, love. Just the good Lord's way of testing us. Well, I wish you'd choose somebody else. Forgot my brolly. Did you see Mintam and Jack? Mintam and Jack? Huh. Out for a stroll, are they? Yeah, lock it. Damn. Come on. Ref's gone. Yeah, well, we should have known. So where do we start? Same as before, we'll separate into pairs, repair the huts, and collect the food. Excuse me. Did I miss something here? Yes, Ralph? Where did you get the idea you're in charge? I'm just trying to help. It's no big deal. Help? What gives you the right to tell us? I really don't understand where you're coming from anymore, Jack. You're a beach bum. A nobody. Do you hear me? A nobody. If someone else wants to run the show, it's fine with me. Oh, come on, let's just get on with it. Not waste time fighting about it. I agree. And I think Jack is the best person to be in charge. I think Jack, too. We need someone we can trust. There's a big surprise. Screwing a jack. You oh, son yeah, of a bitch! Yeah, yeah. Come, on, come on, come on, come on. You watch your tongue, Sonny. I withdraw the remark, sister. The seal, I trust I can count on your support. I'll go with a beach bum. I don't have a problem with Jack, but I think the Ralph could do the job just as well. Thanks, Marie. Does anyone have anything else to say? You lose. How do you want to do it, Jacques? The same as we did before. Boy, let's not forget all those booby traps. Be careful out there. And as soon as we get to camp back in order, we'll concentrate on making it a little safer. looking pretty good now. For the first time in my life, I feel really good about what I'm doing. Must be off my rocker. You're like me. You've got what it takes. Oh, yeah. I always planned on being a superhero one day. You don't miss home? No. Not really. I didn't think so. Must be someone back in Australia, you miss someone who cares what's happened to you. Sandy was really the only friend I ever had. We did everything together. She was always mad, keen on a rage, and I used to just tag along. If you didn't like it, why did you bother? Well, someone had to look after her. If you ask me, she was taking advantage of you. You're the sort to attract every lame duck, hopeless case going. No, Sandy wasn't like that. She was terrific. Whose idea was it to go on the cruise? My 
figured sailing the ocean would be really awesome. I n never thought it would cost Sandy a life. Well, there's nothing you could do about that. Between us grows shorter every day. Soon we will be one. Everyone is out looking for me in town. She's gone missing again, has she? She did not come back last night. Doesn't worry you. Worries the hell out of me. Perhaps your beloved Sergeant Masashi is struck again. No, 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 no. She is too careful. I don't believe that. She's probably wandered off too far and decided to stay somewhere safe for the night. You know, it's not the best place to be. At night. Are you going to help with this search? Lucille, well, ordinarily I'd love to, but I'm booked solidly with appointments. So maybe tomorrow. Return by midday. It's nice to see you too, Lucille. Yeah, sorry. Got caught in the traffic. Something has happened to Jacques. He's not returned. Yeah, I wouldn't write him off yet. If Jack's coming round by the coast, he's probably been cut off by the tide. Maybe. But that does not explain Mintan. You know, I would have been gone if I hadn't been for you. Why do you not like me? Is it 
because I hurt you when we first meet. Or because I'm Asian. No, it's none of that stuff. Something else. It's something that happened a long time ago. Please. My father was executed by the Viet Cong during the war. Tell me. Well, my, uh, my mother never recovered from that. All she had was me, and that wasn't much fun, because I was taken away from her many times. Why? She used to beat me up. Broke my arm once. You know, if I hadn't been for the Viet Cong, my father would still be alive right now. And what happened between me and my mom would be different. I'm sorry for you, Jack. Uh, listen, I'm just, I'm just screwed up in here, you know. All my life, I hated the Vietnamese people for what they did. And when you came along, I just couldn't handle it. Do you still hate me? I cannot tell. I don't, I don't hate you. I, I never met anyone like you before. I say enough of my pathetic story here. What, what about you? What brings you here? Why, why, why'd you run away from us? I saw something I should not have seen. Hey, I can see them! Jack, Ming Tam, they're all right! Jack, welcome back. What is this, Jack? She been telling lies about me, Jack. Why would she do that, Ralph? Well, she's been nothing but trouble since the first day. It surprised me if she was in the pirates. The whole story's just a pile of crap. Shut up! How can you say these things? What is this about? It's about Andrew's wife, Jill. Min Tam saw Ralphie over here, shove Jill off the life raft, and then take it over. Oh, no! Is that true? Hey, hey, get him off me! Let her talk! Let her talk! She's lying! I never had anything to do with Jill, all the goddamn rafts. I just back off, Jack. I'm going for a swim. No one's going anywhere. I want Esther and I want him now. You got the wrong man, Jack. I can't help you. People, listen, it's her word against mine, and are you really going to believe the word of a half-witted peasant who can barely speak a word of English? Min Tam does not need to tell lies. What happened, Ralph? This is ridiculous. Are you playing policeman or judge and jury? Bar Bar it's boy, it's 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 Get off me, freak! Go, please! Andrew. Oh. All right. I saw Jill. I saw her come off the raft. I went over to help her. She was panicking. She tore loose of a life jacket, but I got no idea how she broke her neck. Nobody knew that except me and the cat. He knew. He break her neck. He, he just like Lies! that. Lies! There's no way. I swear by Almighty God, it wasn't my fault. I don't know what you thought you saw, girly. I had nothing to do with your wife's death, man. Nothing. Andrew. I tell you the truth. If what I say is wrong, why did you hurt me yesterday? What are you talking about? She's talking about this. Oh, God. oh you bloody animal! No! Come on. No more! Get that idiot off me! What is it with you people? You're out of control! Why didn't you say something? I try once, but you are lovers, and he is an important man. I did not think anyone would believe a fishing girl of him. You bitch! I believe you. 
Oh, my God. Uh, we all believe you. What do we do about it, Jack? He murdered my wife! Oh, this is her word against mine! Get your sword, Lucille. Oh, my God. I'm a country boy, Ralph. Be no different to slaughtering sheep or shooting roos. Except that we're doing this for Jill. Jesus Christ, Lucille! I cannot help you. Come on, we were lovers. You know me better than anyone. You know I couldn't kill anyone. What happened to the sworn pacifist? You always hated violence. And people like you have always made it a part of this world. I'm out of here. Hey. Get out of my way. Stay back, Jack. Put it down. If you come anywhere near me, I swear to God, I'll take your friggin' head off. Well, come on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, kill me. Uh. What do we do, Jack? Get the sword. No. Jack. Jack. No, please, don't kill him. Jesus. Banish him. Send him to the other side of the island, but don't kill him. Andrew. Killing him isn't going to bring Jill back. As long as I never see his face again, let the murdering bastard leave him. We all done? Is this nonsensical little farce over? Not yet. This will get you started. And I take it there's no farewell party? No gold watch? Yams and taro. Enough to last you for a few days, and I'm giving you my husband's knife. Don't thank me. Oh, Gina. I'll miss your cooking. Let's go. You want company? Better keep an eye on things here, huh? Mm -hmm. grieving for him. Don't. He was never meant for you. This is it. There's fresh water about two miles from here. You know what to expect if you try coming back, right? Sister Margaret's prayers and cold steel for breakfast, yeah. There you go. What about these? I think you'll have three of them pretty soon. Now you're all hot, Jack. You understand never to come back, right? I hear you, Jack. I need to be sure you're okay. Jack, you're going to regret this. You should have killed me when you had the chance. 